Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and a big thank you for joining me on another episode of Bello Calcio. We are currently out in Japan in the J-League managing Shonan Balmare. So in yesterday's episode you'd have seen an absolutely topsy-turvy game. We were two behind against Kashima Antlers just to come back and win 3-2. And not just win 3-2 but also progress into our first J-League Cup final which was absolutely fantastic. But today we turn our attentions away from domestic competition and we turn our attentions to continental competition as we are going to be playing in the AFC Champions League quarterfinal against Buriram United. As I said yesterday, this is a team that I hold dear to my heart. You might be able to see by my custom printed jersey just up here. In last year's iteration of the game, I took Buriram United on a mad journey through Thai football went unbeaten for a extended period of time in the Thai top leagues, won the AFC Champions League and turned them into a Thai powerhouse of a football team. But today I'm going to be looking to unpick all of that stitch by stitch as I hopefully can plot their downfall. I think we're going to need a bit of luck. They have some players that are far superior to the ones that we have. Certainly a certain Mr. Supernat who might be our undoing. But... We've got nothing to catch up on. We're going to jump straight into the game. We're going to show you the lineup and see how we get on against Bobby Ram United. The lineup then that we're going to be putting out against Bobby Ram is Garaka in goal, Takahashi, Ono, Tanaka, and Hata complete the back four. Tachi, Nago, and Miyuki, who are getting quite a good understanding in the middle of the park. And then you've got Machida, Ohashi and Maxwell. They're going to be charged with shooting down Buriram United in this one. I've got a feeling we're going to need a bit of luck to get through this. I think Buriram will come out all guns blazing. We need to try and have a game plan for Supernat and his mates because they are going to be in great, great form. So let's jump into the game and see if we can progress past them into the next round of the AFC Champions League. The players then are out on the pitch. The time for talking is done, the huddles are huddled up and we are getting the game up and running. So for this one, I don't have any expectations really. I know how strong Buriram United are, but we have the first corner kick. Miyuki with the ball in is cleared away and all of a sudden they are going to look to play against us on the counter-attack. Hatta is going to be there to deal with it, but instead Graka shouts him to leave it and takes over. Would have preferred the defender, I think, to have done it there than the goalkeeper taking over that one. But we are moving the ball forwards. Nago on the ball to Ono. Ono coming across the halfway line to play it to Takahashi into Nago. Nice build-up play here as Ohashi plays it back to Takahashi. Nago, Miyuki's going to have a shot. Miyuki, Hitoshi no Miyuki, has scored from about 25 yards. Put this one into the top corner. Says it's number 10 for Miyuki. Probably not one, many of those 10 that are better than that goal there. As he's took the ball from Nago, takes a touch, and as he spins, he's hit it right-footed. Or the goalkeeper can even move the ball, he's in the back of the net. That is a fantastic finish. And all of a sudden, I'm feeling a lot more confident about our chances here, maybe. I know it's only early in the game, and that was our first shot on target, but it doesn't look like Buriram are doing much at all. And they have then kind of hit the crossbar, just as I'm saying that, with a free kick. And luckily for us, we smash it away and deal with that quite well. So, fingers crossed, them coming over to us is playing a part in this. But they are going to be turning the pressure up, I think, as the 90 minutes goes on. A Canic Pania, who was one of our heroes from last year's save before he left us, um, is still playing there. Hypercon is still there at left back. Mycon. So all the names are still there. And there is. Supernat is playing as a midfielder in this game, which is a little bit strange. Lurking around the outside of the box. What is going to happen here? Ball is crossed in. Mykon is on the back post. And the ball goes out for a goal kick. In fact, it wasn't Supernat. It's, it's Sarachat that is playing as a midfielder. Is, in fact, Supernat's not even popped up on the little names list, which is why I was a little bit confused there because I was trying to think what was going on. But yeah, it's Sarachat in the middle of the park. Is Supernat even on the pitch? 
Stupidly, I forgot to look to see if he was uh, in the starting lineup. I just presumed, as their talisman, he would be automatically on their team sheet. As Panya undoes us, Presa puts the ball into the crowd. Can't even have a little look in between highlights. The game is going so fast, and they are on the attack again. There is a canny Panya. Seen him do this many, many times in the game last year, and it seems like he hasn't fallen off at all he's still the man ball is crossed in he's peeled off of the defender headed the ball into the back of the net it's Buriram United back on level terms against us in this one uh, so no I think supping that oh he might is he actually there I don't know if he's still at the club or not but it doesn't matter anyway because he's not on the pitch. He's not even on the substitute bench. And we have a game to be concentrating on here rather than reminiscing about old times with old players. For some reason, Ta Tanaka's going backwards. Plays the ball to Tachi, to Nago. Miyuki trying to unpick the defence, but he just gives the ball away. And Akani Panya is out down the right-hand side looking to cause us more problems. Luckily, he passes it straight to Ono. Nago's going to bring it forwards now. Gets cross pass with the referee. Beats a man. In fact, the referee is in a kit that is pretty similar to uh, Bury Ram's grey away kit here. I know it's a different shade, but it's still close. It's closer in colour to... Wow, what a goal that is. Natapon Preysert. Nice regen. Stepping up with a tidy finish to smash the ball into the back of the net. And turn the game around. I, th I thought we were a bit more confident after a couple of minutes. Maybe that was... Uh, Holds confidence because he's held the defender off. In fact, I don't know why he's gone to ground there. But that finish is superb because Graco in goals just left standing there. And it's still not over. It's nearly half time. Tanaka is going to get the ball deep in our own half. What can he do with it? Please don't give it away here. Goes over the halfway line before passing it back to Ono. Even a chance at goal here would be a good thing. Now go to Machida. Turns back to Takahashi. Plays it back through to Machida. And Machida gets us back on level terms just before half time. What a first half. This has been fantastic football from both teams. And all of a sudden, it's 47 on the clock. There's four goals in the first half. Maybe we can be a bit more confident. I was about to say the confidence was draining away when we go from one up to two one down. But Machida getting in behind the defence. And we get back on level terms just before the break. Half time comes then, it's a four goal thriller in the first half. 21 shots combined between the teams and 10 shots on target resulted in four goals. Nothing really to say to the lads. We've got Nago who's struggling a little bit, and maybe Takahashi, but we're going to go through the dressing room. We're going to leave the players out on the pitch to begin the second half. See if we can't force the issue a little bit, playing a bit more on the front foot like we were towards the end of the second half. No, towards the end of the first half. Hopefully we'll hold us in good stead for the second half as Tiger Hatter take a bow. What a finish this is. I've got a feeling we've just seen uh, Shonan Balmare's goal of the season. Tachi plays it back. The cross comes in. When the goalkeeper punches it, Hatter is just standing outside of the D. He's bent that ball up and round over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. We're back in the lead. I'm now going to bring Nago off because he is struggling as is Machida. So, we've got Harada, who's going to come on in place of Nago. And I think we're going to bring Fujimura on in place of Machida. I know he scored a fantastic goal towards the end of the first half, but going to need some fresh legs if we're going to hold on to the lead. So, throw them on, see what happens. But it's Buriram that are going to be attacking Hyperkhan is down on that side. Play the ball into the middle. There's Sarachat to Mykon. Ball over the top to Panya. Akani Panya looking to break our hearts again. Luckily, he plays the ball back to Mykami. He smashes the ball into the crowd. And there's now 73 minutes on the clock. So we are starting to hang tough here. Can we see this one out with 10 minutes left on the clock? Hopefully, we're going to start building away from our goal. But no, there's a corner that comes in. And Henry Boone heads it over the bar from inside the penalty area. 
we really, really are hanging tough. We're starting to build out from the back. Takahashi with the ball at his feet to Harada. Back to Takahashi. Fujimura to Harada to Miyuki. Oh, that's not the pass we were looking for as Maxwell can't get the ball. Hypercon is running down the left-hand side to Mycon. Crosses it in. Preso is waiting after his finish earlier. We do not want the ball falling to him. And we can't get the ball for more than a couple of seconds. He's, we're just lumping it away. It's coming straight back at us. And Panya now is pulling the strings all over the top. Hatter deals with that. Harada gets it in the middle to Tachi. To Miyuki. Ball over the top for Maxwell. Again, he's cut out. We really need this highlight to end. Mycon is now inside the penalty area. And Hatter goes from hero to zero. He's given a penalty away after he'd scored the worldie. Mycon is now going to step up. And he scores to make it 3-3. We couldn't get over the line. Pretty disappointing that we have crumbled at the end. The poor tackle to give the penalty away. And then the perfect penalty finish, really. No goalkeeper that's going to save that. Certainly not in this game. And now to make it even worse, we have an injury to Takahashi. So Ishihara is going to come on. That is us done for our three substitutions as we're heading towards full time. Sorry, and I think there could be extra time on the horizon. In fact, I don't remember seeing there being a second leg, so I think this will get settled on the night. But the ball is with Tanaka at the back. He plays it up the line to Hatta. Back to Tanaka. Hatta again to Miyuki. Ball over the top into Maxwell. He controls it perfectly. And Maxwell scores. 4-3. 88 minutes on the clock. What a goal this is. The ball over the top is majestic. He's touched to get it out of his feet. And the finish are superb. Maxwell's had a bit of a tough time of it in the past couple of games. He hadn't been in the goals. That there isn't a striker who is short on confidence, is he? The way he's took the ball down at the air. Knocks it past the goalkeeper. And oh my gosh, there is another highlight straight after the kickoff. Surely we're not going to concede again. Mate, no, we're not. By the looks of it, Fujimura's on the ball. Hopefully now, if Buriram are pushing forwards, we can take advantage of the gaps they're going to leave him behind. As Ishihara is in down left-hand side, plays to Harada. Miyuki's there, he scoops the ball up and over into the crowd behind the goal. And now we need these five minutes to just disappear, get us off the pitch. And we are going to get our wish. That is amazing. I didn't really think that our team would be strong enough to be knocking out teams like Buriram United. And somehow, some way, we have fought back after taking the lead, going behind, drawing level, taking the lead. Letting them draw level. We win the game in the 89th minute through Maxwell. The game of two worlds colliding ends with Shonan unpicking that lock that is Buriram United's defence. And we are through to the next round of the court, um, of the Champions League. Sorry, not the quarterfinals. We're past the quarterfinals now. So let's see if the schedule reveals who we will have. And if not, we will try and have a look. So we will be playing Melbourne Victory in the AFC Champions League semi-final. And as you can see, also, that game is next up on the list. So I think we're just going to go straight into that game tomorrow and play that one to see if we can book our place for the first time in the Champions League final. Right then, if you're at this point in the video, you're still watching, you've enjoyed today's episode, enjoyed our tight win against... Buriram United, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel out. Every time that button is hit, it is such a big help to the channel. We've had great success in the first year. Look forward to bringing even more content in year two. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Don't miss tomorrow's episode as we face off against Melbourne Victory, hunting a place in the AFC Champions League final.